Good morning. Happy Monday. How is everyone? It's a great and wonderful Monday. Penelope's just having a seat on our walk. I don't know why. Well, I just felt like we should go for a walk because I have a lot of work to do today and she was asleep and I'm afraid I made a mistake. You never wake a sleeping baby. But I needed to get this out of the way so that I can move forward with work. And I'm afraid when we get home, she's not gonna wanna lay back. Rebecca! Um, she's not gonna wanna lay down and go back to sleep. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid she's gonna wanna be held because that's what happens. But Rebecca, I've got to pay bills and I've got to deliver some money to people and I've got to go, uh, most importantly, I've got to go <laughs> to Chick-fil-A and get me some ice because I cannot be home for the next few days without ice, okay? Ice, ice, baby. It's such a life, such a tough life I live, you know? On today's Car Chronicles with Tracy Tries and Penny Pie, <laughs> uh, I'm out running errands and uh, I just thought we would come to you from the car again because that seems to be the place that I have the most time. When I slow down enough to make a video, I'm just out running around for the office and thought I'd bring Penelope with me. But uh, anyway, just to uh, catch you up on my life because I know that you're so wanting today's update. I don't really have any updates on my life except uh, Naomi came over last night. Phoenix didn't come. I don't know. I have a bad feeling that Naomi is telling Phoenix she's not allowed to come because I don't think Phoenix would not come on her own, but unless she fell asleep on the couch, which when I went over for her birthday party, it was 6.30 in the evening and her mom said she was just about to sleep on the couch and she had to go wake her up so maybe she was sleeping I don't know but anyway so Naomi sits next to me on the couch and uh, we discuss all of life's things so first of all she was kind of uh, perturbed at me because uh, of her own mistake you know because she's nine going on uh, I don't know 18 and she said, well, I didn't get to come at six. I said, okay, why? And she said, because you said you had a lot to do today. And I said, yes, today. Uh, we discussed last night that you would come at six and you could stay till 730. Had she shown up at six, we were gonna make cupcakes, but I didn't mention them since she didn't show up at six. But uh, she said, well, you said you were gonna be gone. And I said, well, that's when you asked me if we could have a girl's day and go out shopping. I, was get, I had too much to do, but that didn't mean I wasn't gonna be home at six. Well, I was at my cousin's house and I could have come home earlier if I had known you were here. And I was like, well, don't be mad at me. I didn't know. I mean, hey, I'm just sitting here minding my own business. And children show up at my door, you know? That, that's all I know. Well, we got through that trauma. Then we're just sitting on the couch and she grabs the um, gummies that I had bought. I went to Home Goods and they had this really big bag of gummies and they're in the shape of, I think it's a dog but it's, um, you know, the Halloween uh, sugar skull thing that they do in Mexico with all the pretty designs on it. Well, it's like a dog, but it has those designs. And then everything in it has like a Halloween type theme to it. All the worm shapes and bear shapes and all that stuff. Well, anyway, she was like, where'd all the gummy bears go? I said, I don't know. I didn't need them. Well, Miss
Miss Tracy, they're almost gone. Almost. I miss Tracy today. Sometimes I'm Auntie T. I, I never know who I'm going to be, but yesterday I was Miss Tracy. She said, well, I didn't need all these. And I said, well, you know, they do settle because <laughs> they are, they are kind of heavy. And she was like, oh. So then she takes one out and takes a bite of it. And she hands it to me and she said, this doesn't taste good. And I was like, I don't want to eat it if it doesn't taste good. And she's like, no, no, try it and see if you think it doesn't taste good. So I took a bite of it. And I was like, I, I mean, it's not great. I mean, it was blue raspberry. But about, I don't know, five minutes later, she said, oh, you lied to me. I said, what did I lie to you about? She said, your tongue is blue. I said, you just gave me the gummy to eat. She said, oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm at the office. I'll be right back. Okay, so um, she wanted to attack Ryan. Uh, when I held her, but you know, she was big and bad and growling and snarling and jumping at him when I was holding her. But when I put her down, she took off running from him and uh, started scratching on my legs, wanting me to pick her up. I said, she's um, brave in my arms and scared to death on the ground. But hey, if I keep bringing her by, Maybe in six or seven years, good Lord willing, uh, she might let you pet her. She's just not, she's not a people person, you know, she's just not a people person, which is why I have a hard time leaving her with anybody, because she likes me. <laughs> so, I'm her mama, and, and that's who I'm secure with. Okay, now we're going to the post office. But the other thing that happened with Naomi that I thought was so funny, I was sitting there reading something off of, I don't know, Amazon or something. And she says, oh, I gotta go potty. And I said, okay. So I just keep sitting there and I'm reading out loud something. I don't know what I was reading. And she kind of stops at the edge of the coffee table and is listening to me and I look up and she's kind of doing this little dance and she's like I gotta go to the bathroom I said we'll go and then I start reading again and I look up and she's looking at me she said Miss Tracy I'm about to fart <laughs> I said nobody is stopping you from going to the bathroom just go <laughs> I guess she thought she had to stay and listen to me read Okay, uh, we're at the post office and she's barking at the man walking towards the truck. But let me go drop off the mail. Hey, shh, shh. He's not getting in the car with us, honey. Uh, we'll be back. Hi, we're home now. So I saw this thing on the hillbillies. I watched them on Facebook and YouTube. Oh no, it fell in. Or something took it. I think something took it. Okay, well, um, well, dang, something stole my science experiment. Okay, so, uh, so what happened was I had all these yellow jackets and I saw on the hillbillies that they wrapped a piece of bacon around a string and tied it and they put it over water with soap in it. The yellow jackets come and I don't know they start eating on the bacon and then they drop off in the water and the soap in the water kills them but uh, something came in the night and stole the stick with the bacon I didn't plan on that I had it on the table by the house but Gracie jumped up on the table trying to find the bacon I mean, who doesn't love bacon? Am I right? Uh, but I didn't think by moving it out here that something else would grab it. No telling. Raccoon, possum, cat, another cat. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, hold on. That's what it killed last night before something took off with the bacon. So I guess my science experiment will have to continue and I'll have to use another piece of bacon. But 
I just used a skewer and yeah, tied it on the skewer and yeah, and laid it all across and filled it with water and soap and that was that, but somebody stole my bacon. Oh, how rude. Oh well, I'll be back. And now to finish off this video with a bit of news. It comes from the Daily Mail, so you can take that with a grain of salt because it is unconfirmed whether it's true or not. But I thought it worth reading. Springfield resident claims Haitian migrants have been decapitating ducks in public parks and eating them. The aggrieved man made the claim during a city commission meeting last month to address the influx of legal Haitian immigrants, which has revitalized the local economy, but also sparked controversy among locals. I really challenge you guys to get out there and do something, he told the meeting. These Haitians are running into trash cans, running into buildings, that must hurt. They're flipping cars in the middle of the streets and they're strong. The man added, they're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their off and walking off with them. They're eating them. Daily Mail has reached out to Springfield Police Department and the Commissioner's Office for comment on the unconfirmed claim. Well, anyway, that is not, that is not what I expected to read today, but wow, that's all I've got to say about that. Wow. I guess that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if I'm going to get a video out tomorrow, okay? I just don't know how it's going to go. Uh, now I got to be there at 7.15, which means my dad's going to want to leave at 6.15. We're not even leaving the county, but uh, traffic. Uh, I-75 traffic. So, yeah. Uh, which means I need to get up at like 5.45 to get... Um, I mean, I, I don't have a lot to do to get ready because they said no makeup, no, you know. I have to wear clothes. Yeah, just no makeup. So, I'm um, going to get my shower and all that tonight, but I'd like to get Penny, um, you know, taken care of in the morning before I go. But uh, I'll try to make a video if I'm awake, okay? <laughs> like when I get home, if I'm awake. I mean, I don't see why I shouldn't be awake some. Uh, it might not be very long, but that's what she said. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people will be crazy. And they're killing ducks in Ohio. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Toodles, my noodles. Stay silly, my friends, and smile. Piss people off, make people happy, or just make them wonder what you've been up to. Goodbye.